let's go do some plain air painting. Well, we're going out to uh, Frenchman's Bar. It's one of my favorite places here in Vancouver to paint. Uh, it's not too far from home, and uh, there's lots of uh, you know trails and green spaces and trees. It's uh, early February right now, so things are a little, a little uh, wintry. Uh, maybe just starting to turn a little bit like uh, spring, but not much. So we're going to be there in about five minutes. Okay, we're going to walk down to our favorite painting spot, at least our current favorite painting spot. I've painted this landscape a few times. Some of it's kind of flat and boring, but in the springtime it's got a nice bright spring green to it. So I was out here a couple weeks ago, did kind of a nice painting, found uh, some new areas to go to and we're going to take a look at those today. We're right next to the Columbia River just west of Vancouver north of Portland a couple miles in a place called Frenchman's Bar. So we're going to walk out here about uh, half a mile or so, lug all my equipment, got a bad knee, but what the heck, we do it for the painting. It's worth every minute and every sacrifice and struggle. Though you'd like a nice painting to compensate you for all this trouble, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. At any rate, we always give it our best shot. And over time, we get a little better and a little better. Hopefully, by the time we're ready to die, we've done a few good paintings. Kind of a pretty landscape. There's the Columbia River. We'll look back upstream, actually downstream, and see the ships parked in the river waiting for their call to come into port. There's three of them there, but you can only see two right now. Beautiful. Woof, woof. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Ah. <laughs> well, here we are, pretty much at the end of the line. Nice little scene. This is as far as we can go. Let's look back towards where we, the direction we came from. Let's see if there's any nice little compositions right, right near these buildings. There is, it's a very nice place, but that doesn't mean it makes a great painting. Sometimes these buildings like this take up too much space on your canvas and they just, uh, even though it's an attractive place to be, they don't work as a painting. But maybe there's a composition there someplace. 
Anyway, I think I'm gonna go back to where we were a couple minutes ago and set up right there. All right, this is good enough. Let's set up here. One thing I want to emphasize here is that this is not an instructional video. This is an adventure video. Okay, let's see, a little ochre. Let's see, a little pink, I like pink. Let's see, here's some permanent green. Put in a little sap green. No, this is my uh, turquoise blue for sky. Squeeze out some of that. Might might augment that with some cerulean blue a little later. And then we got to get at least a couple daubs of uh, white here. One for cool colors, one for warm colors. And then we're going to add uh, a little magenta too. That does nice, nice, nice job combined with the ochre. And we're going to start here in just a minute. Let's slop on this sky real quick. We can modify it later. Take this jacket off, it's getting hot. This is crazy. Let's see here. Okay, that'll work. Well, let's do a little midway, about halfway progress check. Got a ways to go. We'll keep working. Well, we're getting towards the end of this thing. Not much more I can do here. I'll probably take it back to the studio and just do a little touch up. But that's about it for the day. Thank you for watching. That's what it looks like at this point. Okay, after a little studio touch up, uh, this is what I come up with and uh, I'm not, uh, not completely unhappy with it. So thank you again for watching. Bye.